All right, this is the TCAP practice test for grade 8, question number 53. The graph below is included in a newspaper article about the average rainfall in a city. So on the bottom, we're talking about months, so June, July, and August. And then the rainfall would be in inches. The article states that three months shown in the graph indicate a significant drop in the rainfall this year compared to previous years. How is the information in the graph misleading? What we're trying to do is figure out why what they said really isn't what the graphs, uh, uh, the graph sort of like tells you something that really isn't necessarily true. So A says the vertical axis intervals are very small. So if I look here, I can look at those intervals and see if they're too small to determine whether or not um, this is a misleading graph. And if you see, the difference between even, like, even look at the smallest versus the largest, even though they're not even the same months, 3.7 and 3.0, we're only talking about 0 0.7 inches of rain, which is not very much in terms of the average rainfall. That's not a lot. So those, that vertical axis is very small for rainfall. If it was something else that was like a, a very small unit where that meant a lot, it would be a bigger deal. So it's probably the fact uh, that the vertical axis intervals that are small is the reason that it doesn't make any sense. But let's look at the rest of them just in case. B says the scale on the vertical axis is not constant, which is to say it goes up by random things. But it doesn't. It goes up 0.1 every time. 3.0 to 3.1 to 3.2, 3.3. So B is not a good reason that it doesn't work. Uh, C says the comparison was not made with other cities. But the article states that the three months shown in the graph indicate a significant drop in rainfall this year compared to previous years. It doesn't say anything about other cities at all, so that's just like an outlier. That's kind of like a red herring. They just put it in there to try to make you pick it. And the last one says more than three months should have been used. Well, they didn't say necessarily that the average rainfall over the entire course of the year is less, just that there's been a significant drop this year, and specifically they could be focusing on the idea of these three months. Really, this is a question about summer. So that it's sort of a decent argument, I guess, but it's not nearly as good of an argument as A is. So unless they said over the entire year, D is probably out. And A is a great example of the axis being very small. So far in the practice test, by the way, there's been a couple like this. It's always been that the axis has been too small. So pay careful attention to that when you take the test. It might be the solution. I don't know for sure, but it could certainly be.